The synergies between cultural heritage and sustainable tourism development will be given focus during the month of April, which is designated as Heritage Month. The National Heritage Committee has planned a number of new activities geared at creating awareness for the need to conserve Grenada's cultural heritage. On board this year is the Grenada Tourism Authority. Speaking on the link between tourism and cultural heritage was Product Development Manager at the GTA, Kurl Hoshtialik. She said the GTA will be working alongside various schools to ensure that students have an appreciation for cultural tourism. Starting with the schools is definitely a place that we need to be able to start um, for them to be able to understand and to see the synergies and to become involved. So the PowerPoint presentation that we'll be sharing with the schools will look at those two components, how they're able to, to, to see the two, identify the different um, assets that we act, they actually have in their different communities. And of course, there's a preservation and conservation aspects of what we hope to achieve. Member of the Willie Redhead Foundation, Gloria Payne Banfield, says another aspect in recognizing Heritage Month is the reenactment of slavery at the River Antwine Estate. She said this will give people, especially students, a practical demonstration of what transpired during slavery. But what we're trying to do is to animate these sites. And so we're going to put people in them, we're going to put music in them, we're going to put dance, we're going to put food and everything that goes with animation. And we're thinking of these sites um, all around the island, but this year what we want to highlight would be the River Antoine Estate, which is truly a heritage site dating back to the 18th century. Commending the committee was Minister for Culture, Senator Brenda Hood. We believe that it is important for us to educate our young people in particular as to the heritage, your cultural heritage. And this is what it will be for that week of activities, whether it's in the schools or in the communities, is to go out there and educate. So I believe that the reenactment that Mrs. Uh, Gloria Payne Banfield spoke about, I think it is very, very important. And I want to encourage as many persons as possible to come out there to have that experience. This year's theme is cultural heritage and sustainable tourism. Joseph McKeesmith. GBN News.